it's just to show the procedure for analysing a sample using the laser particle sizer. So first of all, this is our sample, and we need to add seven to one of these tubes. So we use this spatula. And that's all we need for our sample. And we add some Calgon 10% solution, which helps to, to soak it, and the chemical itself helps to separate all the different particles so they don't all clump together, which gives you a misleading reading. So that's in there, we need to soak it now. Use this pipette just to stir it around a little bit. And we put the lid on, and it's labelled up. And we just leave that to soak for about 24 hours. So here's one that's been soaking for 24 hours. So I'll show you how to put the sample through the machine now. So I need to start the machine first. The first thing it's doing is emptying out the water in the machine that might contain a the previous sample. We're going to be introducing the sample using one of these pipettes. So as you can see, it's all settled into the bottom of the tube. So we need to stir it up by right, squeezing all the air out of that. And just stirring and then swooshing it around so that all the heavy stuff that's sunk into the bottom gets mixed all together with the light stuff that's on the top. means it's ready for the sample. So I carry on mixing this around so it's good and homogenized. And I'm going to use the pet to gently add the sample to the machine. So I take the pet, I'll put the tip just under the surface and let the sample slowly flow out and around the system. to keep an eye on the screen on the monitor and it'll tell me when there's enough sample in there. So it's not quite enough yet. See now in the, in the receptacle that the sample, you can see the grains flowing round and round of the, of the sample. So the sample is introduced here. It flows down through the bottom, through these pipes, into here, and in here is uh, there's a laser and detectors and um, as the particles are passing in front of the laser, the light is refracted and the sensors detect the different uh, sizes of diffraction and it can calculate the sizes of the particles that are passing in front of it. So the machine is switched off now. Uh, so normally this door is closed when the machine is running, but it's switched off so I can safely open it so you can see inside. The reason it's closed is because there's a laser here which gives out radiation, invisible radiation, so, uh, which can damage your eyes uh, when it's running. So we have to keep that closed while the machine is running. But the samples, they run up through the tubes here and they come through this area. The laser fires through the lens there and is detected over on the other side by a set of detectors. And it flows all the way around and back round to the, uh, to the vessel again. So, um, 
start analysing. So now it's analysing. Across the bottom is the particle size in micrometers. And across the other side is the volume of each particle. So this creates a graph. So that's our sample. After a minute of analysing, it's averaged it out. So you can see that uh, most of the particles in this particular sample are around 300. There's a range, some very fine stuff there, below one micrometer, and it goes right up to almost two millimetres in size.